Hey guys. All right. Hello everyone. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome to Workday in my life, working from home. Day in the life of my work from home day. A day in my work life. A work day in my life. Like what we do for the band when we're not working together and like filming as you saw in our other video that we just did. So let's do this guys. So here we go. I'm starting a little late because I had to get some blood work done early this morning. It wasn't early, it was 9.30. But um, the first task I'm supposed to do of the day was watch this week's YouTube video and write notes on it for our wonderful editor. But I already did that, so don't worry. And then I'm going to record some vocals and then we're gonna meet on Zoom. My workload has drastically dropped since I stopped being our editor. Shout out to our wonderful editor. <laughs> used to be me. I, it's a lot. I used to do a lot of that, but I don't anymore. And I used to record all the harmonies for like every song and I don't do that anymore either. So I now have a kid instead. Life is good. So we're gonna start out with something very, very important, which is actually a walk. Okay, it's like really bright out here, but you're probably wondering what on earth do walks have to do with anything? And they're actually really important in Simarelli history because some of our biggest songs and videos and just ideas in general have come to me on walks. So they're really important for my creative process. And I also spend a lot of time on walks listening to like new songs or covers over and over and over again. If I'm writing something, I'll listen to it to walk like a million times and then it's just a really great place to like clear my head and get perspective. So walks are really important for my job. Here in my desk room, which is where I do all my work. So I'm currently the mom of seven month old twins and right now they're napping in their room, which is like right next door to mine. And I also have a babysitter that helps me during the week when I'm working. So, and then anytime I have a break, I try to hang out with the babies a little bit. So it's always kind of tough trying to juggle both of them, but I just do the best I can. And yeah, so let's jump into some work. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I do for work in the day when I'm not working with my sisters, I guess my individual work time. So. I'll I'll start by saying that today I've been working all day, literally since I woke up. Literally before this, I fell asleep because I'm doing uh, our Instagram story today, which every day we each do like a day in the life thing. Every single thing that I do today, I'm like, how should I film this? How should I capture this? And I'm like my brain all day is going like, it's in like film mode of every single thing I'm doing. Like, how do I film this? Like, I like doing them. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's very mentally taxing sing for me knowing okay i gotta film my work day in the life too is kind of confusing to my brain but some of the things i'm doing i need to film both but i don't need to film for instagram and you for both like my brain is kind of like in a flurry so i'm doing my best it's me and today uh, i'm not even centered whatever i'm not a good vlogger i'm gonna start off by telling you a little bit like what i do in broadway so i basically run our social media that's not our youtube and by running it i mean <laughs> I am in charge of keeping our TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, anything that's not YouTube updated. And then I also like manage our like studio house. So I do a lot of stuff for that, but I love it because my schedule is kind of the same every week, which is so good for my mental health. I don't really need like novelty. I need schedule, structure, anything to stay the same. I do. So I'm gonna take you along today, guys, and I hope you love it. And the first thing that I did today is I reminded Lauren to post that we are buying coffee for our fans because every Wednesday on our Instagram story we buy five of our fans coffee we Venmo them or we PayPal them 10 bucks and they get some coffees <laughs> I want to give you guys a quick tour of my workspace because it's pretty um I'll do a wide view there we go it's pretty extraordinary so we've got our gnome we love him we've got our piano we've got our phone stand we've got our flamingo we've got our flamingo that lights up. Oh, she's fabulous. We've got our bust of the sea. Oh, I love her. Our mermaid lamps. This is not the bedding I picked out, but the bedding I picked out is in the wash. We've got lights on the bed. It's really just a guest room with a cat tree and a bunch of pillows, but you know. We've got our fake palm tree-ish thing. We've got our crooked wall art. You had me at Aloha. Relax. A reminder I need often. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Courtney Kardashian. Son of a beach. She's right there on the wall. Oh, and Where's my cabana boy? And then lastly, over here, we're making waves, soaking up the sun and a little beach action. Boom, because if I had my way, I would be at the beach all the time. 
I would live there. I would at least own a vacation home there. So for now, I just bring myself there through the ambiance. Also, my husband painted this room green. I didn't choose that. Oh, look at these little, ignore this. Look at these little suitcase bedside tables. Oh, so cute. All right, so we're here in my office. I'm gonna check the analytics of everything basically, which is a lot of analytics. I love analytics. I think I'm the only person in the entire group. Yeah, ever has even looked at all the analytics. Probably a bunch of them have never looked at them once because not everyone likes analytics. I like them. And such which and so forth. My teacher used to always say that he was interesting. Anyway, I see your bear. Okay, so this is my work desk. I do a lot of my work, pretty much almost all of it on my laptop. In the band, I mainly do a lot of writing based stuff. So like editing, checking for grammar, coming up with different phrasings for different things. And then I also do a lot of stuff for our Patreon and making sure that we stay on top of like Skype's birthday club, things like that. Today I have some Patreon things to do. And I also have Lauren needs me to write merch descriptions for her. And then I also just got ready a little bit. Yeah, I don't just wake up like this. I got ready for this video because I looked a little um, disheveled. Okay guys, so now I'm in our studio, which if you didn't know, it's the back of the room where we like record our sit down things with like the blue couch and the rug and stuff, as you can see. Um, and I am finishing up some recording that I did yesterday. Oh gosh, I have to like make sure it's all good and double check it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And I'll show you a little bit of it. I'm recording our song, you don't miss, bleh. you don't miss me at all. And I always start like before recording, like doing the first note that I'm gonna hit like, you and doing it like a bunch for a long time. So that I come in and I'm like right on it or at least try to be. These are a little harder than you would think. The rhythm for some reason is tripping me up a titch, but yeah, okay, let's just go for it. You. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't miss me at all. Okay, so we'll see if there's anything usable. It's fun because I get to like engineer my own recording so there's no pressure on me. And I just get to do it a trillion times until I like it. And then I can send it off. And it's really great to not have someone else like pausing me in the middle of my recording. Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm literally wearing headphones. It's really nice to not have someone go like, stop wrong, blah, blah, blah. In the middle of my recording, I can just go the whole way, cut it up, figure out what's going on, you know? Ugh, I hate it when people used to do that to us in LA. Ah! I was recording the leads on this song yesterday, which were very high, so I was standing up, but now I'm doing harmony, so I sit because I'm tired. Be that as it may, here we go. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Wait, what do I know? You never stop, you never stop. Oh, just carry on. Delete, delete, delete. Yeah! Our ending was a little loud. Let's, let's back off a little bit. You never stop, yeah! Much better. I need to get notes from Lisa and Christina on my mix. So a mix is like, it's like everyone records all their vocals and stuff and I record the track and everything. And then they send all the audio files to me. So then I go through the whole project and I make sure it sounds like professional basically. That's what like mixing is. I'm going to text Christina and Lisa to listen to it, even though I told them to do that yesterday and they did not reply. I mostly enjoy looking at comments and messages. Like I really like to interact with everyone. So I read a lot, almost all of the comments really. If I'm in like a bad mental space, maybe not. But for the most part, you guys comments are, they're really great. Not that many like hate comments and they're not that like shattering. You know, times are different now. We don't really have like a toxic fan base, which is nice. We don't really attract that many toxic people, which is nice. So I'm gonna read a bunch of comments. So now I'm gonna get some stuff prepped for the merch shoots that we have coming up. So this is how we set up like a project to record on because we all will record from different places, different houses. So I basically just set up this project like this and I just send it to everyone and then everyone records their leads and sends it back to me and then I put their new leads in. But basically, so the first track is just instrumental. So you can hear that it's just instrumental. Love that. And then the second track is the harmonies that I recorded, also some that Lisa did, just to have them for a reference for people. Except for I left Lisa's lead. 
so that's a bit of a conflict. Um, Oh, that's really pretty. Good job to me and Lisa. And then so this, you guys may think is interesting. So this is Christina's track. This is Amy, Kath, Lauren, Lisa. And then the Harmony tracks down here. You, we end up using way more than just these, but this is just to start with high, mid, low, extra, extra, but usually there's like a hundred of these. So basically I will record like the demo vocals and then I'll just split them up on each person's track. So it's very clear like, okay, this is your part. Yeah, so I just record like guide vocals, I guess, and then just put them onto everyone's part and then they'll just kind of re-record over that and send it back to me. So yeah, that's how we do our recording. Also something I remembered while I was recording is that I need to pay the water bill for our studio. So BRB, I'm gonna go pay that. I find that weird accents and vibrato help a lot. Just any way that's very different from what the lead is doing. So it sounds like different people. I swear I'm not crazy. Okay, I just did two of the high part and I'm gonna do two more of the same part. So it's like four people singing it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop. Too weird head voice, leave me alone. Middle part. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. <laughs> right now I'm actually listening to a mix Lauren sent. I need to put both ears on to see if I approve or not. Well, the twins just woke up from their nap, so I'm gonna take care of them. It's time for them to have their bottles. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll be back to work. Okay, so I told you I'm in charge of like our house stuff. Um, this is my- Older brother. Younger brother, Older brother, who is a lot taller than me. He's the man. He gets me everything I need. We need some stuff painted, so we were just checking in on that. He really is the best. So we stand, we stand Alex. Okay, sorry, Jesus is the best, but we stand Alex. We stand him hardcore, everyone. So go comment that below, we stand Alex. Thank you. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop working. That's a different voice. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. And at the end, everyone's gonna say, praise God. Okay, low part and I'll leave you alone. You never stop, you never stop working. <laughs> One thing that I do is a lot of like planning, scheduling, hyping up things type of things. And then the other thing is like music stuff. So like recording and editing and mixing and mastering and all of that. So today on my list is to record leads for an original and a cover. Okay, so I'm posting our daily post on our TikTok and our Facebook and our Instagram reels. Oh, also I have to post on our shorts on our YouTube. So as you can see, this takes a minute because I have to do like 50 different posts. And then I'm gonna find people to to give coffee to on Venmo, which I'm very excited. I love Venmoing people with coffee. It's my favorite contest we do. We do it every week on Wednesdays on our band Instagram. Okay, so Wednesdays, if you want coffee, keep an eye out for our band Instagram. Okay, so now I'm trying outfits for a photo shoot that we're doing. So this is like a monochrome orange kind of look. It's very bright and I'm obsessed. Okay, listen to the difference. Here's the first part without the weird choir vocals. Working, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Was it not worth it?
it was worth it. Spoiler alert, it was worth it. And this is all my setup looks like. I just have my laptop. I have the audio interface right here, which is not plugged in. I need to plug that in, sorry. And then I have my microphone, beautiful, love it. Um, my pop shield. And then this is like an isolation shield. If you're wondering what it does, it basically like blocks out like the echo from the room. So you get a more clean sound because this is literally just my bedroom. It's not like a sound treated studio. So this just makes it sound really like clean. Okay, so I'm gonna record now. We'll see how much I can do <clears throat> before we do our meeting. I might have to do the other song, Waymaker, tomorrow. But this is our new original song, and I'm really excited. Okay, guys, so right now I'm recording a guitar for our song, You Don't Miss Me At All. I know, I do a lot in a day. I do many things. I wear many hats. So I'm about to record some acoustic. So I'll do a take, and you guys can watch. And then in the immortal words of Lisa, you'll have to get out. I'm recording some acoustic for this, so we'll see how it goes. That was very loud. Oh my gosh. I think I want to play a little bit more chill, so we'll see. Um, we'll do another take. My burp. Okay. This is the part of the video where I lay on the bed and listen to my work in pure joy. Where is it though? Okay, I'm gonna listen, bye. I went too far back. What did I do? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm done for the day. Bye. I do a lot of planning and scheduling and overseeing. I basically oversee like everything, but I don't actually run everything. So I'll like keep an eye on Patreon, but I'm not running all of Patreon. Right now I'm going over video schedule, uh, the filming schedule, the posting schedule, and I have to shift things around. I always have to shift things around. We have our videos planned out for the next two months right now, but they're all gonna shift and change. So now I am writing out like all the details for the merch collection, the launch date and time, yeah, the name, description, prices, all of that stuff. And I can tell my sisters what's going on. And I usually like to like listen to like upbeat, fun kind of music if I'm having a day kind of like today where literally before this, I fell asleep for like an hour and a half at like 10 a.m. Like really helps me to just put on like positive upbeat music while I work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why is it so loud? I don't know guys. Okay, so yeah, I'm recording guitar. I'm not super great at it yet because I'm just a simple man. I'm still a noob. <laughs> I'm still new at this. So this is kind of even a test, like, but I've recorded guitar on um, some of our other stuff, which has gone well before, but this song is a lot more guitar, so it's a lot more nerve wracking and scary, but I think I'm getting it. I'm very excited. I have to plan what we're gonna talk about today in our meeting, what we need to go over, the cover that we're shooting next week, what is, what's the look, what's it gonna be like, what's the plan, what are we practicing, TikToks we're gonna shoot, reviewing our goals and our values and our quotes. I like to find like Bible verses or quotes that are helpful for us, so I wanna get like a new round of them to inspire us when the next songs are going to be done like the next original song and the next covers to be submitted blah 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 this is kind of weird thing you probably wouldn't think i need to plan poses for our photo shoot that's coming up we're doing like a, a merch photo shoot for our smiley face collection i don't know if we're actually calling that smile collection smiley collection when you look at me i freeze 32 degrees 32 degrees never been so Then you get there and you're kind of like, uh, what do we do? I felt so good. I actually didn't feel like I was punched in the face by everything. I felt <laughs> like 
oh, I did it and it was good. And I actually ended up not really being that stressed during all the shoots. And I don't know if I have time to do that before we meet because we're meeting in like an hour. Okay, I'm gonna record some stuff for our new original song. You don't miss me at all. Right now I'm checking out what ad lib Lisa assigned me and see if it's gonna be some horrifyingly high note. She always tries to kill me. You don't miss me at all. Okay, good luck to me. That's what I have to record. Last time she did this to me on Kills Me Just the Same and it was painful. Fun fact, I hate recording vocals so much. Like, it's not like I hate singing, but I hate recording. I don't want to do it a hundred times. So I just try to do it the least amount of times that I have to. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. How many personal things you opened your heart to me? <coughs> oh man, she's off. Oh well, I think she'll get the hint. I accidentally put Lisa's lead early, but she'll she'll get it. She'll be fine. Probably shouldn't have been drinking this coffee before because like the creamer is kind of getting my throat all like <coughs> not great. Okay. You made it obvious to me. Okay, interesting. Um, it's funny because when Christina recorded the demo of this song, actually like 10 years ago, she sang it like, how do you like go so easily? She said easily instead of easily. So I did that naturally when I was recording this demo because I was used to it. And then I realized it doesn't really make sense because the lyrics are so hard for me to breathe. How do you like go so easily? So I'm gonna take a listen and see what I think. Well, not my best work, um, but that's okay. I just need to get a little stronger on some of these notes and I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. It's funny how we used to talk every day, but now you act like you don't even know me. I wanna do a harmony. So Okay, so I recorded like five takes and this one right here is like mostly good. So then what I'm gonna do is listen through it and then find the parts that like weren't so good and then see if in any other of these takes there's a good version of that and then just kind of cut it all together and then see if it sounds right. So there we have it. I cut it up a little bit. Like you can see, I used this and this from this take and brought them into this take. But yeah, I think it sounds good. Okay, so I finished You Don't Miss Me at all and I'm gonna work on Waymaker for a sec. I have like 10 minutes. So I'll just probably just do this one part that I have. I have like a hundred parts. Lisa, split this up to where everyone has like 12 solos. I'm like, oh my gosh, my nightmare. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Kind of good, I think. Let's take a listen. Pretty good. Just need to hit those high notes a little like higher, a little flat, a little pitchy, but that's okay. That's what we have auto-tune for. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna get on a Zoom meeting now. I'll try to film some of that, but I'm a little bit sick today. Usually I do a Peloton bike ride during my Zoom call. Let me show you my little workout space, but I won't be doing that today, but I'll still show you the bikes. You can just imagine me in all my sweaty glory, kicking butt, but not today. Yay. I go right here. I ride this beautiful bike. My husband got me for Christmas. Thank you, Chad and um, work on my strength, my fitness. And I'm like, what, what? I'm up on here and I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, what'd you say? Oh, they gotta stop. I gotta watch a video and write notes. Oh, okay, <laughs> and I'm riding the bike, so love her. She's one of my greatest friends. Oh, she turned on, okay, bye. Now we're doing a Zoom meeting, me and the girls, cause it's just easier to meet on Zoom. You know, they have kids, this and that. No one wants to get up. We wanna work from home. You know, it's 2022, work from home vibes. Anyway, <laughs> I think that is it for me today. If I end up doing something after, this meeting i'll let you know but i might just uh lay in my bed the rest of the day we'll just see where my energy goes so i don't really know what else there's to say guys that's all i'm gonna do in a day for my individual work because we're about to meet in about 20 minutes so i guess i will see you guys around the block thanks for watching all right we have our zoom meeting now so we're gonna jump on zoom and all of us gals are gonna meet together virtually instead of our studio where we film okay i'm getting on zoom my computer's right here you can't see my computer it's weird it looks like I'm looking at nothing. I didn't think this through. Recording in progress. Hello. There we go. Hello. There we go. We just need Kath. Kath Hey. Let's wait on Kath. Oh, there she is. All right, here we are. 
Hello, rats. All right, so the merch shoot for, we don't know what we're calling it, Smiley Collection. What is our goal and what is the vibe that we're going for? Lauren. I think it's like fun, energetic summer vibes. Like we want to get people excited. Like, ooh, if I wear this, I'll have fun. <laughs> I'll fall in love with the best summer of my life. We want we want fun vibes. Yeah, because when I look at it, I do think if I wear it, I'm gonna have fun. Yes, like that's really what we're trying to get across is like, this is fun, we look good, we're having fun. You look good and have fun too. What? Would you say it's like our most energetic fun shoot we've done over the last years, for sure? I don't know about the last years. The Cotton Candy Collection was very... Oh, that yeah. was a good one. I love that collection. collection. Yeah, I was gonna say it should be similar to Cotton Candy vibes, but then with our new 2022 energy. Yeah, definitely energetic. So the goal is it's gonna be like really pretty, colorful, and you can like feel fun vibes. I want it to really feel fun. Yeah. Okay, and then what should we wear with the merch pieces? What are you thinking we're wearing with? Um, I think pretty like colorful and like um, more like fun and fresh outfits. Like in the past couple photo shoots we've done, we've done more like leggings, like chill, not much accessories. But I feel like for this one, we could go a little more um, like- Because like we were pregnant and scared. Or I was. Oh, we were. <laughs> we thought it was cool. Oh no. <laughs> We're going for a simple look, Lisa. At least I was. I wasn't pregnant and scared. Like maybe you were trying to dumb it down in my on my behalf. I don't know. No, but I think this we can do more like accessories. It would be cool if you had like a colored pair of like pants or shorts to pair with the shirt. Like if it goes funky fresh, you know. Okay. I ordered a hot pink pair of sneakers. So that's all we have, folks. All right, guys, so I put the twins back down for their next nap and we finished our Zoom call. So I'm gonna be signing off today and I'm just on mom duty for the rest of the night. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our day in the life work routine. Bye. I hope you kind of understand us better now. And I'm sorry that my head is out of the frame, but I'm not a cool vlogger. Okay, Illy, bye. See ya. Should I okay, stop cool. the recording right now? Yes. I would shave my head. I love wearing makeup. Woo! I think it's whoa! Fun. Yes. I did not whoa, guess whoa, whoa, that. Whoa. Think you know our voices? Time to put your ears to the test.